Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a topic that's particularly relevant to aspiring social work students, reflective writing techniques. Now, whether you're a student eager to improve your skills or an educator guiding future social workers, this video is tailored for you. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to access more educational content. And at the end of the video, I'll provide some guidance to some more useful related study resources. Before we dive into exploring five specific writing techniques, let's make sure we understand what reflective writing means in the context of social work. For social work, reflective writing can work as an important tool for self-awareness, professional growth and critical thinking. To explore how you can undertake reflective writing, let's jump into technique number one, grasping the concept. Imagine you're a second year social work student and you've just completed your first placement. In this situation, reflective writing means grasping what you will look back on in terms of your interactions with clients, considering ethical dilemmas and exploring your personal growth. So your reflective writing should involve more than just descriptively recounting events. It should involve exploring, understanding and writing down the impact of your actions and your decisions. Now let's discuss technique number two, using a structured approach. As a social work student, you can benefit from using models like Gibbs Reflective Model, or as in this example, Kolb's Experiential Learning Cycle. To structure your work, here's how this technique could potentially work. Kolb outlines four stages. You can use each one to structure your writing. For example, you can use the concrete experience stage to start your reflective writing by describing the experience you want to reflect upon. This could be a challenging case or a client interaction. In the concrete experience stage, you want to lay out the facts and your initial thoughts or feelings about the experience. Then in the reflective observation stage, you'll reflect on the experience. In your reflective writing, delve more into your thoughts and emotions at the time. By doing so, consider what went well and what could have been improved. Think about how the experience made you feel and what you learned from it. In this reflective observation stage, your writing should be about self-analysis. During the abstract conceptualization stage, you should seek to connect your experiences to relevant social work theories and concepts to think about how you can apply what you've learned in the future. In your writing, discuss how these experiences have influenced your perspective. Make sure to share any new ideas or insights you've gained based on your experiences and reading. For example, you might realise that active listening is crucial in social work. So you could draw on reading and research to demonstrate how you can make a conscious effort to improve this skill. Finally, in the active experimentation stage, consider how you can put into action what you've learned to improve your future practice. In your reflective writing, you can propose actions you can undertake in your practice based on your reflections and reading. This is where you translate your insights into practical steps. For instance, you could outline that you will attend workshops on active listening to enhance your skills and then describe how you would apply this learning to adjust your listening skills to the different circumstances you may come across in the field. Now let's explore technique number three, personalising your reflections. I want you to imagine that you're passionate about child welfare and social work. Don't just present the facts in your reflection. Personalise them. Share how your personal experiences, values and beliefs influence your approach to working with children and families. Here's an example. You could write, In my recent placement, I worked with a family struggling with child neglect. My childhood experiences growing up in a similar environment have shaped my commitment to helping vulnerable children. This experience reinforces in me the importance of empathy and collaboration in child welfare. Technique number four emphasises practice. As a social work student, consistent practice is vital. Start with regular journaling. Reflect on your interactions with clients, supervision sessions or ethical dilemmas you encounter. Let's have a look at an example. 
You could write, after a supervision session, I realised that I struggled with setting clear boundaries with clients. I decided to practice assertiveness in my next client interaction. It was challenging, but I learned that clear boundaries are crucial in maintaining professional integrity. Finally, let's explore technique number five, seeking feedback and revision. Let's suppose you've submitted a major reflective assignment. After submission and marking, seek feedback from your peers and tutors. Here's an example of how a revision based on feedback might look for your next piece of reflective writing. After submitting my reflection to my tutor, I received feedback about the need to explore ethical considerations more deeply. I'll revise my future reflections to include a thorough analysis of the Basra Codes of Ethics and its relevance to my experiences. This should strengthen my reflection and my understanding of ethical practice in social work. And there you have it, five valuable techniques to help social work students excel in reflective writing. Understanding the concept, using a structured approach, personalising your reflections, practising consistently and seeking feedback will elevate your reflective writing skills in the field of social work. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in more study videos, I've created a playlist that you can access by clicking this link here. I've also added links to some useful resources in the section below. Do send me any ideas for future videos by leaving a comment below. Remember, reflective writing is a powerful tool for self-improvement and professional development in social work. So keep honing your skills and you'll be well prepared for the challenges and rewards that this vital profession offers. Until next time, keep reflecting, keep learning, and keep making a positive impact in the world of social work. Take care and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.